Welcome to Mover Suite Training. Your company has the ability to process payments electronically through the electronic payment system. If you have full access to the Cash Receipts module, you have the option from the Accounting Tools menu to open the Credit Card Bank Payment screen. The screen allows you to optionally link the payment to an order or customer. You can set the branch. The system creates a cash receipt for this branch automatically. Select the type of payment that you wish to process. In this example, your customer is providing you a credit card. Enter the name on the card, the billing address, and the payment amount. Pressing Payment produces the secure payment form. This screen allows you to enter the credit card information. Also, if needed, you can update the cardholder name and address, but not the amount. If you need to change the amount of the transaction, you must cancel the request and change it on the credit card bank payment screen. Mover Suite connects with the merchant service provider established on your system. In this example, Mover Suite connects with the Constellation Payment System, also known as CSI Pay. Of note, the credit card information that you entered on the secure payment form is stored only within the secured CSI Pay system. This data is never exposed outside of the merchant service provider. If all looks good, press Charge Credit Card to continue with your request. Once the request returns from the provider, you receive a confirmation screen. In this case, the payment was successful. A similar screen appears when the request is not successful. From this output, you can note the cash receipt number generated, the amounts processed and approved by the provider, the authorization data for the transaction from CSI Pay, type of account the payment processed under, and the last four digits of the credit card. You also have the ability to email a copy of the receipt to one or more recipients. Separate multiple address records with a comma. This email function opens a new email message with the receipt attached as a PDF document. You can also print the receipt from here as well. This is the standard payment receipt report that generates from within the Cash Receipts module. You also have the ability to void the receipt. The system voids the cash receipt within Mover Suite and requests either a refund or a void of the payment through the merchant service provider, which depends on whether the payment exists in the processing cycle. A good case for voiding a receipt early on in the process is if the customer wishes not to continue with the payment or wishes to use a different payment method. Voiding the payment early may catch the transaction before it is processed by the merchant provider, saving you from potentially issuing a refund. You can cancel out of the void or proceed. If proceeding with the void, you will receive a confirmation indicating whether the void was successful or not. The confirmation contains the amount voided, the authorization information, and you can generate an email regarding the void as well. Now, if you happen to be on an order when you open the credit card bank payment screen, then you find that the bulk of the data is already at your fingertips. The order data and customer populate from the order record. The branch defaults to that of the order as well. The description fills in based on this information that include the order number, shipper, and the customer by default. You have the ability to update this description in order to provide the information you need to readily identify this transaction. This description follows the transaction throughout its life and appears as a note within cash receipts. You have the ability to enter the payment information as before. However, since we are linking to an order or customer, we can choose from a list of payment records already on hand. This time, instead of a credit card, you are going to process a payment for a bank account. The options available for the default billing address are those associated to the order or customer. The amount of outstanding AR for the order and customer display on the screen as well. Enter the amount of the payment. The approval code is needed if an error returns and the card or account holder you are working with is instructed to contact the merchant service provider. In such cases, the provider issues an approval code that you can enter here that allows the payment to go through. Check the option to keep this payment data on record and press Payment. This time the Secure Payment form prompts you for account and routing information of the checking account. 
Now if you wanted to, you can cancel out of the screen, go back to the credit card bank payment screen, and select one of the payment methods this order and customer have on hand. This list includes all payment methods retained for the order or customer. What this means is that any time you select either this customer or this order, then the on-hand information is available for all future payments. Another feature of selecting from the list of on-hand payments is that when you go to process the payment, the application bypasses the secure payment form and processes the request immediately. Notice that the email address is set for you. Another nice feature is that when an order is assigned, the email address associated to the shipper on the order is automatically assigned as an email recipient. Over in Cash Receipts, you can quickly retrieve the cash receipt associated to an electronic payment. Using the Find from Cash Receipts allows you to view the authorization information for the payment, which displays the Find as the check confirmation data. You can see which batch the receipt links to. The application creates an electronic payments batch for each branch that received electronic payments for each day. If an electronic payment occurs on the same day that the batch is being processed within Payment Management, then an additional batch is created. Information from the payment include the payment type, authorization, and the description. Set here is the note on the receipt. Order and customer affiliation also lists. Options available to you include the ability to print and void a receipt, which were also available to you when generating the electronic payment. As before, voiding an electronic payment produces the void payment screen, which prompts for a reason that you are voiding the payment. You also have the ability to refund a payment. This is a process similar to voiding a payment. With the refund, however, you can specify a different amount of refund. If you're unable to void the payment and you wish to remove the payment or a portion of the payment, then you will issue a refund. Confirmation screens appear after the request is processed. This output screen also includes confirmation authorization information and the ability to send out an email notification regarding the refund. Notice that issuing a refund grays out the Void Receipt button. You cannot void a payment that has a refund associated, just as you cannot void a payment or cash receipt that is in process within Payment Management. Further, if you have refunded the full amount of the payment, the Refund Receipt button is also disabled. In Payment Management, you can finish processing the electronic payments. As mentioned earlier, the application creates a batch for electronic payments for each branch, and additional batches are added if needed. The application also creates an electronics refund batch for refunds generated each day under a particular branch. You can apply the payments from electronics payments and refunds just as you would any other payment types. Under the Accounting and Financial Services category in Mover Suite Administration, you have access to the Electronic Merchant Setup area. This setup allows you to establish a connection to a supported merchant service provider. Currently, the only supported provider is Constellation Payments or CSI Pay. The connection includes your company account identifier with the provider, the URL for the connection, and login credentials. Assign the branches you wish to support electronic payments. The application only allows payments to process for the branches listed. And likewise, cash receipt batches only generate for payments and refunds for these branches. Verify that the branches you want to process electronics payments under are established within the cash receipt number setup as well. Further, your company may choose to create a separate cash receipts batch type just for electronic payments. Other setup considerations include allowing users that you wish to have access to the electronics payments functionality to have security and report profiles granting them full access to the cash receipts module and to have the cash receipts report associated to the report profile. Under Personnel Setup, verify that their security profile links to a record that contains full security access to the cash receipts module for at least one branch. This grants them access to the credit card bank payment screen. Users processing electronic payments also need access to the cash receipts report.
The cash receipt report is one that has a system location of cash receipts. Verify that this report lists within the report profile. Thank you for allowing us to show you a little about our electronics payment system.